what's going on everybody on youtube how's everybody doing i'm doing just fine I'm doing awesome actually today welcome back to another episode here on the afterlife server of course where else would we be i mean come on we got some stuff building up over here on the afterlife server it's looking pretty awesome and i've been doing some off camera work i just want to show you real quick and that is this terraforming over here i've been doing a lot of terraforming and I'm building out these cliff sides. They're not 100% done yet. I want to poke in some andesite just to break up that stone a little bit. I think that'll be pretty nice. Um, also add some leaves and stuff. You can kind of see we did a little bit up there on the edges. Um, where we add some leaves and some foliage to break up the dirt and all that good stuff. And add some moss in as well. That kind of brings me to the project of this episode is... We are going to need a lot of moss for this base. I'm just realizing this. Like, I want to use moss for, like, the edges of our terrain and stuff. And we also have a project coming up in the nether where we're going to need a lot of moss. And I mean a lot of it. Maybe you're always okay. weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sure. No. All right. Now I'm going to start recording so I can actually catch all the funny bits. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sorry, editor skunk gonna button here. Um, I'm sorry if the few next clips that you see, um, if the audio levels are a bit off. Again, I did just get a new mix amp. I'm still testing out videos. I'm still testing out recordings. Um, and this was actually one of the first few recordings I did with other Afterlife members. So their levels are still, they still gotta be adjusted. They still gotta be changed. So I'm sorry if white fires audio and maybe a little bit of kb's audio is a little bit loud it's not their fault it's my fault i'm still figuring out settings so bear with me enjoy the clips and um hopefully um you enjoy it well, that's the thing that you have all the funny bits before the actual recording that's what always happens oh, man it's because when recording happens there's all, all that pressure you know and it's then like beforehand, oh, it's just like we gotta mention this we gotta do that it's like in that case, we shouldn't think about it and just introduce what we're doing here in the nether. Just casually talk and then edit Yeah, it so what, later we, on. What, what, are, what are we doing in the nether? Oh, so now screen. you're going to start bossing me around, huh? Yeah, yep. skunk. Start putting what are we me doing in here? charge. Okay, I guess this is my idea. So you can be the boss if you don't want to be the boss. No, no, no. This is my what project. My project. <laughs> my idea. No, no, no. Hey. We hey. are gathered here today. <laughs> oh, God. To talk about the nether pathway. I do. Come, come here. Come here, KB. Come over here. What got into him? He comes back for a day and he starts talking like a king. You know I can hear you. Oh, uh, right. Uh, right. I thought he was a little hard of hearing, but I guess not. Wait. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to introduce beef, this idea beef, or not? Beef. 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 I'll fight you right now for it. No, 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 no. Rock, paper, yes. scissors with, with death to see who introduces it. Hey, I killed you last time. Remember? This is true. I, with this a bow. True. My flame and power. <laughs> no, you... I've got an infinity bow now, though. <laughs> oh, that's right. Actually, I think I did that, too. Maybe. You I did, don't know. too. You did that, then, too. Shoot me. Shoot me. Ah! <laughs> I, can't, I can't do the portal! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't need to say a single word. I can just get free content. <laughs> I'm gonna be cameraman right over here and just... No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Wait, why did I do that? Oh, why did you do that? What? What? Oh my god. What just happened? <laughs> what are you doing? I didn't mean to do <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I, my bed was blue. Oh, I thought it was a water bucket. Oh my god. <laughs> but I wanted to work in the nether anyway. So what what is the point of this? What is the point of the moss? What is the point of the cobblestone? The stone? What what theme are we going for here? So it's basically just to try we're just trying to bring the overworld into the nether. That's basically the idea. And how can we do that? Well, grass looks ugly in the nether. That's why we're using moss. Um, because it still keeps that green lush color, right? Right. And so you can, yeah, you can see here, the Ugh. ugly. Look at how yeah, dark it's it is. Oh, no good. And then using slabs as the pathway, it's a little indented, but I kind of like it, right? I mm -hmm. think it looks pretty cool. Uh, but that is also, the idea is to add the moss carpet and the slab so it's all spawn proof. We don't get any gas, all that good stuff. And uh, main mode of transportation plan is to do elytras and horses. 
So and striders and stri uh, striders. Uh, right. Okay. So that was super embarrassing. <laughs> that was I I I don't I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I died like that. I mean, I do because I did it, and I don't know why. I my instinct was when I get caught on fire, place bed in nether and die. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no clue why I did that. I I don't even know. I my explanation in the episode was, or in the in the episode, no, in the video was. I thought it was a water bucket, but I don't think I can even use that as, as an excuse. I mean, they're both, they were both blue. My bed was blue. Water buckets are blue, but I just, why, why did I sleep? Why did I do that? I think I was just panicking and I, I just hit the bed. I just literally hit the hay. Ah, beautiful. Okay. So that's, that's what you call a good night's sleep right there. Not the, not what happened in the nether. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you to Wi-Fi and KB for helping me get some of my gear back and all that good stuff. I've been kind of doing a little off-camera work, uh, just getting my gear back and stuff like that, because that was totally not planned whatsoever, and I just was, I was goofing around, let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're gonna need a lot of moss, because we plan on filling our whole, like, nether roof with moss, a layer of it, and also we're gonna need a lot of moss carpet as well. So, moss is gonna be really really valuable now um and it's gonna be really cool i think it's gonna be an awesome idea to have um kind of like a overworld in the nether on top of the roof so i'm excited about that so right here in this shulker box which <sighs> i gotta explain also <laughs> a lot of explanations in this episode but yeah i i had the shulker box on me so this is my second time collecting resource. This, this sulker box. This is my second time collecting all these resources because initially I died with this shulker box in that explosion. So I had to collect all the resources again. All that resource is going to be for a moss farm. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. So that's, we're definitely going to need it. And I do plan on building a building around the moss farm. So I do plan on building it right here. Um, now it might seem kind of awkward right now. But the idea, of course, is to build build up the terrain, make some custom terrain here, and make it, you know, blended naturally. And I chose to put it up here because right down there, it's kind of cramped, right? And I just plan on putting trees down that way. And then we're also going to have a path that comes up this way and goes around this way. So it just feels kind of natural to have something over in this area. So uh, let's get to building that moss farm. Right, and there we go look at that <laughs> it's super small i love it i i love small farms i love when uh they're like semi-compact and this will fit into a building pretty nicely uh i think at least i haven't actually made designed a build for it yet but we will in the future um but i just want to get the farm down and that way we can get it rolling get it moving um and get some moss going so lots of potential with this farm. We can start a moss shop. We can, well, it's going to help with our nether project. We need moss for around the base here. Uh, so it's just going to be an all in all. This is going to be a great farm to have. And I'm super excited about it. So let's see if it's actually going to work. Um, I got some bone meal here. And one stack of bone meal, I think, gets you around like five stacks of moss, which is not too bad, I got to say. So... The way we turn it on is we just hit this lever. And it's going to be a little bit laggy, I do believe. Uh, yeah, so you can see there's a little bit of a lag spike there when it is running if you're staring directly at the farm. Um, but I think it's working as intended, even on the server. Which is pretty cool. So if you guys want to check out this farm, I'll leave a link down in the description to the video I watched. I'm not going to explain 
fully how it works. You guys can watch that video. It's a pretty easy farm to understand. It's just a bunch of stone generators pushing in to a moss block and the, the uh, dispenser is bone mealing the moss block and you are just generating moss with stone. So a little bit of lag and we already got a stack of moss. Oh my goodness. And we were, we were, do what? what was that a minute? <laughs> that wasn't even a minute. That was like 30 seconds. All right. So I've done a little AFKing at the moss farm here and, uh, uh, this farm is really good. <laughs> Look at this. This is only after like 30 minutes of AFKing, by the way. This is not long at all. Like, I don't even think it was 30 minutes of AFKing. I've just been, I, I sat over here in this little box for a little bit, watching some YouTube videos, and uh, this is what we got so far. I mean, come on. Look, we even got all these moss carpet as well, which is going to be super useful for our moss production in the nether and just you know moss projects in general so i'm thinking though why don't we take some of this moss over into the nether we'll take some of this and then we'll also take some of the carpets as well Right, so I've been placing a lot of moss. I've been doing a lot of stuff here in the nether, mainly just placing moss, but also kind of working out how things are gonna go. Um, kind of fine tuning uh, what the, where things are gonna be, what is going on with these boat highways, and uh, just things in general like that, because we had originally these boat highways, and I wanna integrate these into our new new design. So we're gonna have boat highways going in all four directions, north, south, east, and west. And uh, then we're going to have little branch pathways going off. Now, those aren't going to be boat highways unless they're far away. If somebody has a, por a portal off the main highway that is far away, then they can add a boat highway going to their base. Um, like for ours, for instance, it's so close to the main one. It doesn't need it. As with Jaguaros, as with Whitefires, etc. You don't really need that. Um... You can just basically walk to it or you can just basically I don't think anybody here is going to use the highway at all. They'll probably just fly to their base, to be honest, um, their base portal. So but to label things and to kind of get things situated, we're going to have color coded highways. We're going to change this one to yellow. Um, I don't like the white personally. I think yellow. So we're going to have yellow, blue, lime and red dye. Okay. Um, red, well, just the colors in general. So we'll have the lime, we'll have the yellow. Uh, this will probably be blue because that's where my base is and I want it to be blue. And then the north will be red. Um, so kind of give like a little bit of direction where to go. And then on these right here, we'll actually have, um, labels for, uh, where things are at. So I believe in this direction, there is a mob switch. So that's what we can put here. So the mob, you will know that the mob switch is in this direction, right? So then we'll do that. And then we will pop that onto the sign. And you might be wondering, well, what if there's a lot more than what's, what we can fit on these signs in this direction? Well, we can always change this system. Right now, we don't have too much on the server. So this is going to be just fine. Um, now we can always move this stuff back. This is where I'm going to be putting the main portal, right? So my idea for this, and we'll build something fancier later on, but we'll just build this up one. There we go. And we're going to fill in the corners with 
the black stone because I kind of like a differentiation with my corners and nether portals. Sorry, Etho. I know Etho has a problem with not filling in your corners. <laughs> but uh, I think this is a good compromise. Kind of matches, right? And uh, that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going to make this look a lot better later on. So in the middle of this, this is going to be the way down to get to the bottom. All right, after several cups of coffee later, I've got some cool stuff worked out over here at the Nether Hub community project roof project thing. Um, I've actually told all the Afterlife members that they are welcome to start placing moss now. Now that I got the idea down, they are welcome to help contribute in placing the moss. So it's an official community project now, and uh, everybody seems to be pretty much in agreement of what I'm doing over here at the Nether Roof. So that's exciting. I'm excited about this. It's just another one of those nice community projects, very easy content, very easy stream content as well. And that's what I kind of strive for. Like with build a day, that's what we, that's what the idea was. It's very easy content, gives the afterlife members easy content to kind of make on the server as well. Now you got this easy stream con content. You just come in here, talk to your chat, play moss, bada bing, bada boom, all good stuff. So I've actually gone ahead. I've done a few little changes here. So right here, I got a little barrel at the beginning of each pathway for uh, boats and stuff. So um, yeah, I've kind of stocked it up a little bit with a row of boats. Like that was pretty good. I've also gone ahead and added another one of these sign things over here. Um, I know we just had the one over here initially, but I decided to go ahead and actually add in this other sign one over here just to have more slots uh, for labeling just in case. And um, another little change I've done as well, I've actually gone ahead, added in all the ice and all that good stuff. And I've also added in the uh, andesite border as well. So this wasn't here originally. I just felt like it was a nicer transition between the moss itself and the pathway. It just makes it feel a little bit cleaner and a little bit nicer as well. Um, but yeah, so yeah, got all these nice portals linked up as well. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, that's nothing too new, but one of the main things I did was I actually gone ahead and, uh, well, I made a community storage room for this area as well. So nether roof supplies, it's a small storage room, but it's all we need really for this. Um, so we can put moss in here. We can put the carpets on this side. Uh, we got frog lights. We got all the different glass. So all of the materials can be stored in here. And you can see we got all the different slabs. Now, I do plan to kind of stock this up a little bit, but all the Afterlife members are welcome to uh, donate resources as well. Um, I'll be providing most of the moss for this project since I do have the moss farm now. Uh, it just makes sense. So, yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing. I'm really excited. And so now we got that underneath this main portal right here. And we will be dressing up this portal in due time. Uh, something a little bit more fancy i feel like it should be looking a little bit fancier uh than it does currently but that's a project for another day well that is gonna do it for today's episode everybody <laughs> in your face much no uh yeah that's gonna do it for today's episode we got a lot of stuff done the moss farm the nether community roof project all ready to go and uh we kind of died i mean hey it, we recovered quickly, but I know the ha afterlife, the afterlife, the afterlife. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Afterlife. Uh, I know the afterlife members are going to hold me to it. Um, they're never going to let that one down. I've already, I've already got some comments <laughs> from the other afterlife members. Like, Hey skunk, make sure you don't sleep in the nether. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll still white fire saying it's fine. We'll get through it but uh <laughs> oh boy man what am i gonna do i don't even know but uh yeah guys that's gonna do it as always don't forget to be awesome and i'll see y'all next time